Veteran politician Baji Kata Sebsi has been confirmed as winner of Tunisia's first free presidential poll. He secured 55.68% of the vote in Sunday's runoff, defeating caretaker President Monsef Marzouki, 44.32%, the head of the Electoral Commission said. Mr. Marzouki, a 67 year old former exile, earlier refused to admit defeat. Mr. Asebsi, 88, has urged all Tunisians to work together for stability but critics say his win marks the return of a discredited establishment. They point out that he served under President Zine El Abidin Ben Ali, who was ousted in 2011 after the Arab Spring Revolution triggered uprisings across the region. Mr. Asebsi was also in the cabinet of Tunisia's first post independence leader, Habib Bourguiba. Earlier on Monday, police fired tear gas in the southern city of Hama to disperse hundreds of demonstrators who burned tires in protest at Mr. Asebsi's victory. The results of the runoff vote were announced by the head of the Electoral Commission, Chafik Sarsar, who was visibly emotional. It is the first time Tunisians have been able to vote freely for their president since independence from France in 1956. Mr. Marzouki earlier criticized Mr. Asebsi for declaring victory based on exit polls. The announcement of victory is undemocratic and we should wait if we want to be a state that respects the rule of law, he told supporters. Mr. Marzouki has been interim president since 2011 and is more popular in the conservative, poorer South. He was thought likely to attract support from the moderate Islamist Anada party, which has played a key role in Tunisian politics since the Arab Spring but did not field a candidate. Martyrs of Tunisia On Sunday, Mr. Asebsi appeared on television after polls closed, I dedicate my victory to the martyrs of Tunisia. I thank Marzouki and now we should work together without excluding anyone, he added. Supporters danced and let off fireworks outside the headquarters of Mr. Asebsi's secular-leaning Nidatunes party. Mr. Asebsi led in the first round of voting last month with 39% of the vote. Mr. Marzouki polled 33%. He is popular in the wealthy, coastal regions, and based his appeal to voters on stability and experience. The new president will have restricted powers under a constitution passed earlier this year. He will be commander-in-chief of the armed forces but can appoint or sack senior officers only in consultation with the prime minister. The president will also set foreign policy in consultation with the prime minister, represent the state and ratify treaties. Tunisia boosted security for the elections and closed border posts with Libya, which has been plagued by unrest.